Welcome back to the show. You're watching this little show with me, Meg White, where we look at some of our videos and things like that. And um, I'm not sure where Jack is right now. I, I lost him somewhere. He um, was around the corner and was looking at something, and I was looking at something, and, and he's gone. So here I am. But <laughs> it's okay. Just stick with me. But um, um, the next video we're going to show is actually Hotel Yorba, which was the first video that we ever did in Detroit, um, which we tried to do at the Hotel Yorba, but we got kicked out because um, we don't know why. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a bum hotel, like a, you know, and uh, they didn't trust us. I, thought, I, think, I, thought, eh, I think they thought we were from the health department or something, I don't know. They were very sh we were very shady characters dressed in red and white, you know. Uh, we ended up having to do it sort of outside and, um, and in another hotel who was nice enough to let us have the room. And, uh, it was the director of this was Anthony Garza, a good friend of ours. Um, and um, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> she can't even answer this question. <laughs> Robot. Yeah. When I broke my wrist, they had a theory that they were just updating me. <laughs> That's the deal. <laughs> Megbot 2.0, I believe. Megbot. Megbot version 2.0. Now, isn't it kind of cool in that sense, though, to have all the pressure removed from you? To just, hey, man, I'm not even real. I suppose, but <laughs> if I was a robot, I should have perfect rhythm. That could be a problem. Yeah. You do have perfect <laughs> rhythm, Meg. Now, how, what do you think his, I mean, he's described it with great <laughs> sense of, of the innocence of the way you play the guitar. What is it about Jack that you think so resonates with an audience? Oh, I, I think the intensity and just the uh, the genuineness of it, you know what I mean? I mean, he's putting everything in his soul out there, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oops, did I just swear? Um, <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, he's putting, he's, put, he's putting forward everything that yeah. he has, always, um, you know, on the stage, and I think people... He's leaving you He's giving you everything he's got. Think of them while you're trying to think, like, where I don't like. What? Here it works. I think. Yeah. Quick thing, Meg. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ms. Cope. Elliptic, maybe. Elliptic? Elliptic. I'll tell you what I see. I see a little girl who's finding an escape, and instead of, uh, like other rock stars or a country music singer drowning her sorrows, in bottles of beer and bottles of liquor, I see you getting further and further into these video games. Well, you okay? know, everyone's got to have their relief, you know. you know. Yeah, but you're doing it too much, okay? I, I don't, and I'm I, telling you, I think I know what it is, because I, I can tell you, and I would never say this in front of Jack, but he is probably the most, the most annoying person. Most well, hard-headed. very nice, Arthur. I'm just saying this, because you and I both have worked with him, and well, we've known him the longest. Well, it came sometime after the time that Jack tied me to the drum set. Um, Listen, you're gonna play. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's, uh, I don't know. It's just <laughs> I just like the drum. All right, let's go. Make one banana a piece. Keep it moving. Good evening, everybody. An exciting day on Wall Street. Uh, the economy just going up and down. Wouldn't you say so, Meg? I would definitely say it's been going up, and then sometimes it goes down. It's just it's going up and down. Up, up and, and down. down. Yeah. For the, I mean, sometimes it's up and sometimes it's down, and uh, really exciting either way it goes. Man, what is going I don't on? get to watch. There's only two of us up there. <laughs> You're closer to the front of the stage than most drummers, so you can That's see true. what's going on. I have to participate. You haven't been bit. watching the shows? No, not at all. Can I do that? Mm, no. Okay. What's your favorite Simpsons character? Simpsons character. Uh, you like Ralph Wiggum, don't you, Meg? No. <laughs> I thought you did. I like, I like um, Mr. Burns. Mr. Burns? Oh, he's good, yeah. Simpson, eh? Millhouse is pretty cool, I like that. Millhouse is yeah. strong? Yeah. I'm the ha-ha guy. <laughs> Nelson. Nelson, yeah, he's strong. I do whatever she tells me to do. Is that true? That's right, exactly. You feel good about that, right? Sit up straight, Jack. Come on. Right. <laughs> Come on. This is just going to teach you a little lesson from Uncle Arthur, okay? I, I really, you know, Arthur, I really don't 
think is the way to, to do this. I know. There's a lot of things you didn't think about, right? There's a lot of things about practicing. You didn't think we needed to practice, but we practice. Okay, try it. Try to throw it at me. Really, try to throw it at me. It's All not right. going anywhere, is it? Let's go. Practice. One, two, three. I'm not dropping my thing. Good. You know, Arthur, this is cutting off my circulation. That should. It'll hurt. And next time you think about dropping a stick, you'll remember that and you'll say, I don't want to go no, through this. This really is hurting my hand now. Is your hand asleep? No, it's... Then you're fine. Let's see if I can find it. I mean, the, so my secret that I'm a robot. It was, sir. There's, there's, there's a rumor going around that Meg has been replaced but with an android. And that all of our lyrics and album artwork are, are evidence that she's an android. I love it. I can't find the question, damn it. But it definitely is, it, it revolves around, uh, would you please um, leave the white stripes and come and make uh, rubbish music with me? <laughs> Not referring that your Sounds music is rubbish. Good. Sounds pretty good. But just the, the music they would make would yeah. be rubbish. But I think it's, it's a pretty solid offer, I think. That sounds pretty good. Hold on, but I think it'll do. You've got all the feminine products that you need. Yes. Okay, I don't want to get too into that, but I'm going to give you, I'm going to take it for granted that you know what you need in that department. Okay? Well, thank you. Okay. Do you have enough pair of socks and underwear? I, I think so. Yeah, do you have yeah. t-shirts and undershirts? Yes, Arthur, have I you do. Brought I, mean, a I don't think this is really necessary. Have you this brought a book to read if you get into a situation where a plane is late? Yes, yes, I did. I did, I did bring a book with me. Did you yes. bring a Walkman? Did you bring a Walkman? I can bring a Walkman, yeah. That would be do fun. you have a Walkman? I, I do, yes. Are you going to bring it? I, I was thinking about it, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think you're ready. I think you're packed. Packed and ready? <laughs> ready and packed, yes. Ah, what do I speak? Um... The language of love. Yeah, well, you know. Aww. No, you know, that's, that's the toughest language of all. Yeah, that's right? the You're pretty good at this game, huh? Well, you know, you know, pretty good, I guess. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know about computer games and all that. Well, you know, I mean, if you try them, you might like them, Arthur. You know I'm going to miss you guys, right? Well, I know you will, Arthur. We'll be back pretty soon, though, you know? Like and you know what I'm saying in there is mainly for Jackie, mm -hmm. because he's stubborn. I know. Hard-headed. You know that, right? I know that, yes. No. It's never good to answer a phone call it's so far in the morning. Not this late at night. It never, Nothing ever, ever, ever causes you I'm any good phone. things. It really doesn't. Oh, yeah. Phone calls at 5 in the morning always consist of... What the hell is this right here? The phone calls always consist of, at 5 in the morning, of people calling to tell you things that you know, but you really don't need to know right at that moment. Like, I'm in jail, come get me. Yeah. The problem yeah, is... It's hard, you know. It's hard because it's like, sit around, wait, 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 and then, okay, be on! <laughs> Play a really great show. We made, we made a short film with him. Do you want to tell him about it? About the film? Yeah. <laughs> um, he did, he's doing a whole series of whole short movies called Coffee and Cigarettes. Yeah. And he's got quite a few of them already. And we did one with him that's about five or ten minutes long. And uh, he's going to compile them all, I guess, and put them in one movie. Yeah, but it wasn't supposed to stop. It was supposed to keep working. I don't know what happened. I think maybe you blew a capacitor? <laughs> no, I didn't blow a capacitor, Meg. Hmm. Maybe it tripped your GFI. Yeah, your ground fault interrupter. It, yeah, I know what a GFI is. That's not what happened. You don't have to snap at me. Hmm. hmm. I think maybe the spark gaps are too far apart on your spark coil vibrator. Uh, yeah, that could be it. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that is, that is it. That's it. You're right about that. I didn't check that earlier.
Meg's ready. Meg's taking a little nap here, here on Radio White Stripes. We're going to show you a little clip now from someone I really admire, and his name is John Lee Hooker, and he's doing his song, Boom Boom. Boom 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 Boom. I'm going to shoot you right down. Get off of my feet. And tell me that you love me. I love that talk. That baby talk. When you're talking like that. I can't. 